Hey everybody, Paul James Caden here with the Spirits Channel. It's a sunny and cool Sunday morning. Everybody's still in bed. The neighborhood is relatively quiet, so I thought I'd come out on the front porch and do a spirit box session and uh, see what we can uh, capture here this morning. I'm going to do things a little bit different. Uh, this morning I'm going to be using the PSB7 spirit box. This was the uh, the first spirit box I ever bought. I've had this probably uh, 10, 12 years, something like that. And uh, I'm also going to be using this little device, which works somewhat like a REM pod that you see a lot of the paranormal investigators use. Uh, the theory behind this little device is that spirit has a body that's akin to static electricity. So when this little antenna senses like a static electricity, the light will go off. And uh, I have this piece of cellophane paper. If I rub it on my hair and get the static in it, it should, when it goes near the antenna, there we go, see, it take, the light goes off. So if a spirit comes near this, the light should go off. And you'll see that if I go near it, nothing happens but if something charged with static goes near it the light will go off so I'm gonna set this up right over there by the uh, tree and uh, we'll get this session underway all right so I got it set up right over there you could see the little red light and now I'm going to turn on the spirit box The spirit box isn't as loud as some of the newer ones. You really need a speaker with this, but it's it's okay if you're holding it up by a uh, an external mic. So let's see, we want to sweep forward. And we want to ask this morning, Are there any spirits that would like to com communicate through this device here this morning? Please let me know that you're here. any of the what I call the backyard spirits or spirits that live on this property are any of you present here this morning I'd also ask, are there any angels or angels of light around me during this session this morning? I'd like to ask the spirits this morning about the phenomenon of UFOs. Have any of you out here ever seen what we call a UFO? Have any of you ever seen such a phenomenon in the sky?
And during this session, if any of you could go near that small red light right over there, all you have to do is go near it and that light will turn off and let me know that you're here. So if anyone could just walk near that little device or put your hand near the little antenna on top and make the light go off, that would be that would be really great and greatly appreciated. Now getting back to UFOs. Do any of you know what they are? Are they actually beings from another planet? Or are what we call UFOs, some people hypothesize they're, they're actually beings from another dimension. Are UFOs actually interdimensional beings rather than interplanetary? Some even believe that UFOs are of a spiritual nature and the beings would be more related to what some call angels or demons. There's good and there's bad. Could you tell me, are UFOs more of a spiritual nature? fly overhead. Remember when I made that video that said you're always dodging raindrops when you try to make a video like this? Boy, I'll tell you, if, uh, if the heavens could open and scream down while you're doing this, that certainly will. And maybe it did with the airplane. But anyway, <laughs> I was asking Spirit, can you tell me if UFOs are more of a spiritual nature? And are the UFOs, or rather the occupants of the UFOs, are they friendly? Are they actually going to help mankind if we get into a real fix here on planet Earth with some of the things we're doing? Will they intervene and help us?
I think those birds need uh, help from aliens right now. They're always fighting over the, the bird seed throwing one another out of the tree. Um, so again, I like to ask Spirit, are UFOs not friendly? Some people think they're here to harm us. Are they here with bad intentions? And lastly, spirit friends, could you tell me, do what we call aliens, do they have bases underneath the ocean? We see a lot of things coming out of the ocean. Are there alien bases deep in the oceans of the earth? And lastly, I would like to ask if there are alien bases underneath the ocean. Are they beings from another planet or another dimension that put bases in our ocean? Or are they beings who have always lived deep down in the ocean and we just never knew they were there? Do they actually come from the ocean? Or are they from someplace else? Alright my spirit friends, I thank you for your time and your participation in this session. If anyone did in fact come through and leave any uh, words, phrases, or answered any of my questions. And uh, before I end this session I would ask one more time if anyone would like to step near that small device right over there and make that light turn off. To let us know that uh, you're here with me this morning. That would be greatly appreciated. It won't harm you in any way or do anything to you. It'll just detect the energy of your spirit body and that will make the light go off. The red light that's shining on the front. this session up. Thank you again Spirit for joining me this morning and answering my questions if anything uh, did come through. And thank you all for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.